She didn't despair, she didn't tremble, she didn't even flinch. The movement didn't stop, and at the same time weaving the chant, the short sword kept flashing. What filled her heart was just the voice of wondering. How would this person act? How would this person respond? How would Miss fill this fight? The flesh answered her question. She uses Lafia's entire body to track and project her movements, her posture, her parallel singing, her skill, her every action. Speed up. Speed up. Speed up. Cut the unicorn rabbit into two. Destroy the minotaur with magic. Use the flames of the Cerberus to burn the Tusk Liger and then induce the giant Goliath to attack the group of monsters. Run, sing, dance, blink, swing your staff and dagger. Her face was bitten by fangs, her thighs were slashed by sharp claws, and at the same time, she raised every attack and defense to a higher level. I'm becoming a magic swordsman. Without succumbing to hordes of giants and monsters, be able to fight them all. You are getting closer to protecting yourself while saving the existence of others. Obviously yes. In the deep darkness of my heart. The white elf was standing in the corner. I don't know when I will see her ghost. And she doesn't smile. Obviously, I'm getting like you, and I'm getting stronger, but she looks at me now and looks really sad. Why? Why are you showing that look? I don't understand. Although I don't understand, if I do better, she in my heart will definitely smile. If I manage to get closer to her, that person will definitely compliment me and smile. Then. Magic exploded and countless monsters returned to the ashes. On the battlefield where the blood mist rises, Lafia weaves a tragic song, constantly playing the melody of the sword. Loki. Looking at the Tower of Babel from the Guild Hall's overhead corridor. Looking down at the dungeon below her, Loki heard someone speaking behind her and turned her head. The person who came and stopped in front of her was Reveria. Reveria, is it okay to be here? I thought you were worried about Lafia, so you already went to the labyrinth. Gareth is gone. He also said, playing with dirt is not an elven specialty. Dot. So it was, thought Loki. When it comes to digging, there really is no one better than the dwarf. They have a constant relationship with coal mines. Now, not only other factions but also the school district side has dispatched manpower, and overstaffing can really affect efficiency. Although the target is a vast dungeon, only three floors in total have collapsed. Is the idol Reveria here to talk to us? Half of it. The other half is to check if the benefit has decreased. Since you can see, don't beat around the bush. Ask me. Seeing Reveria close her eyes and sigh, Loki laughed. The High Elf cast a reproachful look at the goddess's all-knowing eyes, urging her to respond. So, how about the quantity? Don't worry, there is no shortage. Lafia is fine. To be precise, is it, no accident, now? Loki lost his smile and looked back at Reveria. Does Reveria think Lafia will die? Upon hearing this question, Reveria shut up first. Every time Lafia goes to the dungeon, I will definitely take action. I asked Elfie and Alicia, and I never let that child go alone. Why will she move? It's not wrong. She is possessed by a ghost that no longer exists. Loki understood what she meant and listened to her in silence. The sealed dungeon is basically isolated. Even if there are students from the school district nearby, it can't stop Lafia. The moment she faces the desperate situation, she will use the things she has cultivated so far and then execute. Confirm your choice. Today's dungeon brought together all the elements that can lead to Lafia's will. Reveria's words affirmed Loki's words now. 
Those who dedicate their lives to their own obsession will one day be eaten by dungeons. I've seen this kind of thing many times. The emerald pupils looked into the distance, reflecting the Tower of Babel. Loki neither denied nor affirmed the worry in his heart. He just said. That's right. The current Lafia is about to stop being a Lafia. Elsewhere. Master Baldr, you said that Lafia's heart will fall. What do you mean? After roughly giving the instructions and then delivering them to the scene, Harissa asked about what Baldr had just said. After listening, the male god began to slowly narrate. Through this period of teaching, her thinking should be a little calmer, but, the balance in Lafia's heart is still shaking. This is an area she doesn't know. So even if she pointed it out, she wouldn't notice it. Loki familia, and Baldr, or Leon and the persuasion of others will not be effective. Because Lafia herself didn't notice. After hearing the god's words, Arisa, who couldn't follow her thoughts, looked even more confused. Baldr showed a calm smile. Arisa, how did you feel when you saw Lafia again? I became an adventurer. Seriously. In my opinion, it's someone else. Balder stated, making Arisa's eyes widen. At the same time, she also remembered something. It's like a different person. Balder said this when he saw Lafia again in this director's office. If this is not a metaphor, but a literal meaning. If in the eyes of the gods, it is someone who is not Lafia. When I heard that Loki personally dispatched Lafia as the family's recruiter, I had a premonition. After seeing her, my premonition turned into conviction. I don't know if it was out of anger, regret, or redemption. In short, Lafia is planning become someone else. Dot. Upon hearing this, Arisa's shoulders shook. To this day, I have seen Lafia's profile looking into the distance countless times. Sometimes, she actually seems like someone else who isn't Lafia. That was the moment when the elf with long black hair and Lafia overlapped without Arisa knowing. I'm afraid that Lafia is chasing the illusion of a deceased person and is about to dedicate her body to that person. Arisa was speechless and the god just spoke the truth without any emotion. When the body and heart achieve that illusion, even if she can come back alive, she will no longer be the Lafia Virides we know. Inside the dungeon. The screams of various monsters echo everywhere. The giant groaned as the earth rose and fell. They couldn't stop the sword dance and opera of just one elf, raining blood and screaming one after another. Lafia let out a roar. She will never interrupt the singing melody, so that the inexhaustible throat approaches the pretty and ugly girl and gradually changes. The chant picked up speed. Don't be stagnant anymore. Redundancy is also eliminated. Reflect your ballad, your nobility, noble and beautiful itself, let yourself be covered. Not a lot. Just a little. She hasn't won yet. But she has managed to win. Kill me a little weaker and distance me from the strong. One step closer, you can cross this sea of terrifying monsters and climb the giant's peak. What else can be abandoned? Which part can be replaced? For Lafia, Fairwest showed her being devoured with all but one hand. So maybe, it's possible that I could lose a hand. Even if it's just the weight of an arm, if she can understand your pain and sadness, that she, in her heart must also smile. Let's go. Can. I can truly be the magic swordswoman Philvis. The magic circle in his left hand anxiously waited for the moment to be released. The trump card that decides the battle situation and the decisive time bomb begin the countdown. She looked at the monster, looked at Goliath, and reached out to the magic that fought alone until the end. Pursuing and freeing. She was about to throw her choice into the dungeon, and at this moment. Lafia. 
A sharp roar of magical power rose up, and the ice barrier shattered. Lafia and the monsters pointed to the west in surprise. At the foot of the Great Wall of Size, the Seventh Squad, Nano and the others, appeared with scars and electric droplets scattered in all directions. Impossible to break. It should be unbreakable. How the students could break the ice barrier that was built. However, they shot that one. Nano's magic cannon. Prepared to be affected, in order to break the barrier from within, she unleashed a zero-distance lightning bombardment again and again. Why? Both the sword and the chant stopped, and Lafia muttered in a daze, but they rushed over to stop her from saying anything. Of course it's to help her. 